an historic moment for Austria today, regardless, as you said, for North Macedonia, an historic moment. And I referenced yesterday, John, I talked about it being Finland's Kaiserslautern moment, so to speak, which we didn't get to celebrate, and they probably didn't get to celebrate because of the context around it. But talk us through the emotions these kind of occasions have, because this is an anniversary for us the last couple of days. It's 15, 15 years since yeah, the Japan oh, game. It's incredible. What is going on there? But these three teams, it's, it's a nice moment to reflect on um, what this means, what international football means for the populations that support it you know it's um it means everything because it's something that you know it's a game that we love we got passionate about with uh, growing up supporting and seeing these tournaments being played so you know growing up in north macedonia the, the, i'm sure pandev would have been dreaming of one day representing his country and playing in the Euros or in a World Cup. And finally, at 37 years old, he's able to do that. And and just the lead up with it, it would be, you, you're just excited. You, 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 just, you, you just can't wait for that first game to go. It, it's, not, it's not even nerves. It's like, just get me out there. Mm. I, I, I want to play. I can't wait. I want to be on the world stage. I want to show the world what we can do, not only myself, but as a country, what we can do. And then on the way, on the way to the stadium, the bus in, and you see that the supporters are just as excited as you are so that gives you another lift and you saw in Romania there was a lot of North Macedonian supporters so there's a lot of Macedonian uh, Macedonians there so you, you you can sense that the, for the players it would have been the same you know Austria would have been the same because you know they hadn't won mm-hmm. at, a, at a Euro before so again that was similar to probably what we experienced over in Kaiserslautern and uh, you know it, it's uh, and Finland the same you know that I know that was a tough day for them yesterday but they'll look back and they'll be going you know we've finally won at a major event and uh speaking of you personally johnny 15 years down the track how often do people come up to you on the street and still talk about that moment not so much the japan game because people forget about you bring that, that one up instead <laughs> <laughs> but actually but is it it's, it's you sometimes say that that japan goal is actually Almost. Do you say that's actually your favourite yeah, goal? Yeah, that, that's well, it's probably when people go, what moment did you love the most in terms of between the Uruguay moment and also the Japan moment? And I, I say the Japan moment for me was more fulfilling because it was we were all there at the World Cup. It wasn't to get there. We were there and, and it was on the world stage. And, and when you go to these tournaments, you know that everyone, not only in that country, but virtually whoever follows world football or follows football stops and watch that, watches that game. So, you know, I don't know how many people around the world would have watched us against Uruguay for the qualifiers. You know, I don't think there would have been many other than, you know, the Australians and the Uruguayans. Whereas when you're at a World Cup or you're at a Euro, the world stops to watch it. And that's where you know that, it, you know, it, it's you, you're on the biggest stage of all and, and that's a different feeling altogether. And plus it was a dream to mm. play at a World Cup. 15 years. Does, it doesn't dilute it, does it? it still feel, does it still feel, when you think about it, does it still give you chills? Oh, no, it's not like I think about, you know. Well, when we bring it oh. up or when you see it, <laughs> but, you know, we walk past, when you walk past the off sport screens and we're playing it for the 15th time in the... You know what? It, it's, um, it, it's a past memory. I was so like lucky to be involved in it, uh, in that team. I was so lucky to have played the game in general, but you, you, you know, life moves on and you, mm. you don't really reminisce that much until someone brings it up. But, uh, you know, we're I, guilty I, of it. <laughs> just wishes we'd stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> but it do, like you think about Kuran Pandev and what it must mean. And, and I guess the significance of the weight, the weight, not, not the weight of the burden, the weight to get to that moment. And, and again, if there's, there's any uh, alignment to what we experience as a nation, what you experience, waiting to come on that day against Japan, um, I, I guess it's a really nice synergy there. Yeah, yeah. Now, there, there, it would be, you know, I can just imagine what he's actually feeling. Um, that they would have been a bit disappointed after because they lost. Mm. But uh, for someone like Pandev, that would have been a dream, a dream to represent his country at a major tournament. And he finally did. And uh, it was just uh, great that he was the one that actually scored the goal. Because don't forget, he uh, he retired from the national team a few mm. years back. And Angeloski actually brought him back in. The first call he made, the first visit he made was, Pandev, I need you because with you, we could get and make uh, make a major tournament, and uh, and he actually gave him the belief, and 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 that's what happened. And look, they they will be excited that they're there, disappointed that they lost, but I'll tell you what, they yeah, they actually played well, and and I'm sure that the next game there, it's not going to be so easy for the Ukraine. Enjoying our YouTube channel. 
be sure to subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.